Hi guys, welcome to today's video. We are once again dealing with shade and light and I did a white balance and then the light changed and then I added a light to even it up and then I did another white balance and now the light is changed. So the white, the light is going to be a little bit strange and I apologize as I do on a daily basis. I'm just trying to make it better. Let's move on to what we're talking about today. Recently, I was sent some products from Trini London. I did the BFF and I did the VB on the cheeks and on the lips and I did Fortune on the eyes and I really enjoyed the look. But I said I thought this was a little too warm for me. This is the color Lucy. And they sent me something else. They sent me just a touch in the color Allison, which is a little bit too light. So I have seen Trini use this under her eyes and then on her face just where she has redness and call it a day. And it worked beautifully on her and I would have hoped to actually do something like that for myself. But I hope you can see that this color is a little too fair for me. And they sent me another lip color as well. They sent me Phoebe. This is lip to cheek. So I thought we would do another Trini London, but this time I'm going to use these two together. A little too warm, a little too light, and see what happens. So I've already done my skincare, my sunscreen. I'm just taking two pumps of the BFF. I did microneedling a couple of days ago, so my skin is a, the teeniest bit, you know, aggravated, but I didn't go as deep as I usually do, and, you know, Penny from Penn Smith Skincare did a video a couple of months ago, I guess, saying she is reading more and more research that says you don't have to go deep with the microneedling to get the collagen sit, collagen induction therapy and she said she's going to be doing more videos on that and I haven't seen any but I thought okay you know what let me do a little bit less so the deepest I went was one and I have to say I don't know if it's true or not that you can still get collagen production when you're not going very deep most of my face every zone I did at 0.5 and I would do one zone at a time so I'd start 0.5 and then I'd go to 7.5 and do it again and then I'd go in between 1 and 7.5 and do it again so I got kind of a three pass situation on each zone but in the cheekier areas where the skin is quite thick I just went straight on with one but still I have been going pretty deep with my microneedling previously and when I do inevitably there are some tears there are some issues and it takes you know a good week to kind of heal up hi baby hi <laughs> just always got to be in there mommy just needs to know where I am okay so there is this and again it just looks so so pretty on the skin it doesn't look like makeup it really doesn't such a nice formulation the coverage you know I still have some redness coming through but it's not the end of the world I feel like I've been evened out a little bit and that is a good thing so we have that and it will oxidize a little bit now I have been doing the Charlotte Tilbury under my eyes. I've been doing a new system under my eyes, but I'm not going to do that with this because I'm not sure how they'll play together. But this is just a touch and Allison. And it's not, it doesn't feel super emollient. Like I feel like I need to work around it a little bit to break a seal, if that makes sense, like a film on top. And I am going to apply the same way I've been applying lately which is put it on two fingers and then get it on and start with a little and build up if you need to this applies very very easily it's just boom 
So in that application, I still see some darkness, but I'm going to let this settle up for a minute. And I'm going to use this in the same way people highlight. So I'm going to do around here and a little bit in the cheek because my cheeks are so red. Around the nose, the center of the nose, a little bit on the chin, and a little bit of this kind of highlight here where you bring attention to the tops of the cheekbone. And I'm hoping that this will help tone down the warmth of the Lucy if I just have a little bit of lightness in the center of the face. So I don't know if I've seen Trini use this on top of BFF. I think I've seen her just use it on its own. So I've got a little more coverage. And it seems to be blending in just no problem at all. Just the warmth of the fingers doing the job. Now I'm going to do a little bit more under the eye. I really like the way this moves. There's so many products like this on the market and most of them are too emollient. And then you have, you know, the issue with something being too dry. This is in the middle. I don't feel that it's too emollient. But it's different than my my others, where with my others I can just press the finger on and transfer from the finger to the face. With this it will transfer, but once it's transferred it needs to be blended in, if that makes sense. I just did a video on what I'm doing under the eyes, and that will totally explain what I'm talking about. So yesterday, Lucy got a bath, and I don't give her baths very often. And when I do, it's outside. But I thought, let me see if she'll like it better if I put her in the tub and I just bring a bucket and rinse her with fresh water, blah, 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 blah. She was still shivering, even though the water was warm. And then I clipped her toenails and she moved. So we cut the cuticle and I cleaned her ears. So I feel like she smells and looks nice and pretty, but I'm pretty sure she doesn't like me right now. <laughs> so this is Phoebe. And I think, again, I'm just going to transfer it to the fingers a little bit. Look how pretty and fresh that is. And then go around the sides to blend it, blend the seams out. Lovely. Whoops. Whoops. Okay. It went a little more in than I thought I wanted to. That's okay. Now I'm just going to blend whatever's left, which is hardly anything, and just kind of bring it closer to the eyes to bring that freshness, that youthfulness to the eyes. I'm kind of tempted to put a little bit on my lids, but I'm not going to. I'm going to go in with the fortune. I just love this. And it's weird because it looks kind of beige, but when I put it on, it just reminds me of something that is a little bit more warm. It, I don't know, it has like a rosy, a rosy beigeness to it. But the light is different today. This is uh, what it looks like on my finger. Do you see how it's more of a taupey, beigey color, but it has a hint of rosiness to it or warmth to it? It's a complex color, I suppose. And I just love this effect. I feel like now my eyes are emphasized a little bit. They're given a little bit of shape, but it just doesn't look like much of anything. And, you know, in fact, this should be called Just a Touch. It's like just a touch of something. I'm sure I could go deep with this, but I don't want to. And now we're going to do Phoebe on the lips. I could probably benefit from doing a liner, but first I just want to try just a little bit. Just a little bit of something. 
and you could put a little gloss or a balm over this and feel like, okay, I have a little bit of color and I'm good to go, but now I'm going to go in pretty heavy. I think there's probably nothing more unattractive than watching me put on lip color because the faces I make. It has a vanilla kind of scent to it. I never noticed that before. I think with a product like this, you can kind of do a hazy outline on the lip, or you can, of course, go in with a lip brush and do something more sharp. But I think for me, I just like this kind of finger application. It's a teeny bit hazy, but not super hazy. But I wouldn't, I don't think I want to line this. I love this. I feel just totally put together. So little effort, but put together. Now, what do I think about the Just a Touch under the eyes? I like it for on the face because it will help to cover my redness a little bit. And using it in the center, it helps even up the color Lucy for me. So I like it using it like that. Under the eyes, um, I, I'm not so sure I get a lot of coverage. Now I'm really dark under the eyes. A little bit of troughing. That is normal for me because I have a deep, deep trough. It blends in very nicely and it moves very nicely. So it's easy to work with. But I feel like I can absolutely see my darkness. So it's worth giving it another try with this underneath it, which will help to cancel out the bluish, grayish, greenish, whatever the nightmare is under my eyes that's going on. And then I could go on with this. But I like it on the face quite a bit. And you guys, how, I mean, I haven't done anything else. I haven't lined my eyes. I haven't put on mascara. I haven't done my brows. And yet I totally feel 100% put together. And I, this is like not quite the no makeup makeup look. There's makeup on, but it's like not a big dramatic makeup look. And maybe I'll do a, a little bit of eye work. So I'm going to go in with this milk. It does not move. And I just really don't like it when my skin shows. Just that alone makes my eyes look better because I think as you get older, more and more the, the skin underneath the lashes just starts to turn. I remember seeing a video with Lisa Eldred. She was doing something with... I don't know, I think her name was Yasmin or Jasmine or something. She used to be a huge model and she married someone, I think, in, I don't know, R.E.M. or, you know what I mean? Typical model. But she said the very same thing. I, there's something in my eye right now. But she said the very same thing where she feels as you get older you can see that and it just makes the eyes look a little weird for me. I don't even feel like I need mascara. I just needed that to cover the skin and I'm done. So a second look at the Trini London. This formula is so beautiful and just looks like skin. It doesn't cake, it doesn't crack, it doesn't look weird. It, it's just lovely. It's just a little too warm for me. And I think I just got blush <laughs> at my widow's peak. Not a problem. The color Phoebe here and here. It's a lovely color. I guess you would say it's um, really, it's a rosy color, right? A dark rose. And fortune on the eye. And that's it, you guys. I hope you like it. Let me know if you have tried anything from Trini London, because I'm just so, so impressed. And I think this is very, very modern. You know, Trini's a busy woman. She does videos constantly. She runs her company makeup company, but she also interviews people on her channel and does things. She does the shop ups that does Zara and does clothes. I love her videos about clothes. She, well, fashion, but not really fashion. It's not about fashion, it's about style with her. And, uh, you know, she's busy. And I think this is how a busy, modern, real woman would feel comfortable putting on their makeup. 
it's not a 45 minute thing. It's not layer after layer after layer. It's not complex eye looks, but it looks, I think, so darn good. And yeah, that's it. Um, sorry about the light changing all the time. I just, I, I just, I just doing my best. Thank you so much for spending some time with me. I appreciate your time and I'm so glad you're here. And I just, I want to take a minute to say that. I am very grateful for you. And um, I hope it was helpful to you. And I hope you come back again. And if you're new, hi, welcome. I hope you consider pressing that subscribe button. But it's okay if you don't. Maybe you need to watch a few videos first to see, you know, if I'm your thing. And um, until we meet again, be safe and smart. And I'm wishing you good health.